Hello everybody and welcome to the video. Right folks, <laughs> I'm doing the whole entire Orbital sa Saga, right? On those on Xbox, right? And also Switch. We always forget about the Switch players. No, the Orbital update, right? This is the whole summary of everything. Everybody were coming up with their solutions about what happened, but you know, the most simple one of all was probably because it was bank holiday in the UK. <laughs> And everybody down tools early, even at Xbox, right? So I think Hello Games didn't get the update ready uh, for uh, verification until but the, just before bank holiday and it's gone through. And the people at Xbox, obviously it's in America, you know, Microsoft, they did it in their own time. And it's uh, delayed it, right? More or less. I think that's it. I think that's more or less it. In the background we have Asphalt Legends, which is on the Xbox Series S. It's good graphics, not a good game, right? Give you something to look at. Anyway, this has upset a lot of people in the community, right? This has upset people more than the Waypoint update in my eyes. The Waypoint update, the reason why that was so disgusting is because it destroyed everything to do with ship hunting regarding the, uh, the slots right and the min maxing so they hurt all the min maxers right and that's what hello games usually do they hurt people in the game by bringing out harebrained ideas on how to do the game without asking anybody they go by the recommendations of certain content creators on youtube which i'm not going to mention right but we uh, we've got an idea who they are right and hello games watch their videos right and take ideas from them and it's not necessarily their ideas that's everybody's ideas right so this is what happens okay ship customization came in because hello games has seen that some content creators on youtube popular content creators on youtube wanted it and also the fact that starfield has it and obviously starfield is a competitor to uh, you know no man's sky and uh, I think Hello Games thought, you know, it'd be a good idea to put uh, ship hunt, I mean, um, ship customization in because of what's uh, happened with Starfield. Because, you know, we all know that's, that's the reason, you know, it's not what the community wanted, really. It's for them to compete with Starfield, right? I'm not joking you. So, in the end, the summary about the whole thing, it's just an absolute shit, shit show. Hello Games, right, should actually automatically uh, realise that they are at fault, okay, as a game developer. And they just didn't admit to anything, right? They didn't admit to anything, right? Right? The thing is, they're launching the updates. It's not Microsoft's fault, because it's the updates coming from Hello Games, right? So, effectively, it's Hello Games' fault. They should have got this update ready for Microsoft before any other platform if they knew there was going to be a delay you know it's just obvious they should have done that but they didn't <laughs> and they launched them all at the same time and you know the other platforms came out first because they're a bit bit easier to put updates on right and it's just caused an absolute shit show right so Effectively, it's caused this massive problem, and he the problem with Hello Games is they never learn. They never learn, they never learn, and they never do, because they just don't care. Just as long as they're selling games. And this is why I wanted to get out of the No Man's Sky thing for ages, because Hello Games puts years on me, to be honest. Uh, I really felt for the No Man's Sky community on Xbox, right? Because I'm an Xbox player. Right, not like other content creators on PC doing videos on, oh, poor Xbox players. Yeah, I'm an Xbox player, right? So I can empathise better. Anyway, it's really pissed me off. And, you know, I can't make any content on it now because it's all being done by all the freaking vultures, right? Yeah, vultures. Anyway, thank you all for watching the video and I'll see you in the next.